Hey guys, my name is Prince Mason. I'm a beauty, portrait, fashion, and lifestyle photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. And today I'll be showing you how I retouched this image right here. Now, first things first, you have to import your image into Lightroom. Um, if it's a raw image, which I advise people to actually shoot raw because I shoot raw. And this is the image right here after it's been imported into Lightroom. Now, normally what I do is I come to my basics panel here and I do um, a little touch up right here um, I work on my highlights I always bring down my highlights and um, I always increase my shadows then I increase my whites and my blacks too so basically this is what I do um, this is the before of this image um, straight out of the camera and this is after I have uh, messed around in Lightroom so all what I'll do is I'll actually take this image right now and open it in Photoshop Now that this image is open, um, I have some frequency separation actions that I use. Um, if you are a retoucher, if you've learned retouching, then you know a little bit about frequency separation. So um, I set my um, the radius to 9 for my Gaussian blur. And yeah, so this action works great. I downloaded it from a website, I can't remember where. Um, but I have also created my own actions, but I use this basically because of the check layer. Then what I do is I do my frequency separation. So I'm going to speed this up. If you know frequency separation or you have different techniques you use, you can just use that. So I'm just going to speed this up to make this a little fast. So yeah. Um, at this point I'll say welcome back you know I'm not spending too much time on um, the retouching when it comes to my frequency separation I'm not going to spend too much time there for the sake of this tutorial normally I'll take my time and take um, a lot more and be very careful so I don't mix the skin tones up so at this point I'm just going to move to my dodge and burn I'll create two layers normally for I would leave it this way but for the sake of this I'm just going to change this to burn and I'll change this to dodge so what I use, typically use for my dodge and burn is um, my 50% gray layer so at this point here I'm just going to pick my burn tool set my exposure to 3 make sure my range is on mid tones and make sure protect tones are checked then I'm going to start burning this image burning this image Now you have to be careful so you do not do too much if not the image starts looking fake okay, just trying to make this image look as natural as possible at the same time make it pop if you understand what I'm saying Then I move to the dodge, set my exposure to 3, make sure it's still on mid tones. And like I said, normally I'll take my time, I'll take a lot more time than this, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to rush it to. So you get the idea. I don't want you people to sit down here too long watching this. Uh, I'm going to group this and see how far I'll come. Uh, the image looks good. Looks it looks okay. 
Um, so at this point now, I'm going to sharpen my image. Uh, I have an action for that. For probably later, I'll do a video showing you people how I sharpen my image. This is a bit too much, so I'm going to set this to 30. And um, yeah, I'm not going to start grading now. I'm just going to take this out. Uh, then from this point, what I'll do next is I want the image to pop a lot more than it already is. So I'm just going to come here, pick black color. I'll fill this, I'll create a new layer, fill it with black, change it to soft light, then reduce the opacity. This brings a lot more pop into the image here, yeah, as you can see, and it looks a bit darker. Then um, I'm going to go to, set. I'm, at this point now, I'm going to start grading my image, I'll go to selective color, my blacks, I'll change it to minus two, and my neutrals, plus two. Create the curves adjustment layer, going to my red from the middle here, take it up a bit. I'll go into my greens, take it up a notch, then go into my blues, and I'll take that up a notch too. That gives it a pretty nice view. I'm just going to, I probably will take my greens up a little more than that, just to balance balance this out okay looks good uh, so next I'm just going to create a levels adjustment layer and I hold out and I pull my whites see where they're peaking then also my blacks see where it's peaking image looks good I'm just going to pull this in the group right now and I'll name this group grid I'm just going to take my check layer, put it up here. I rarely use it most times. Um, so what next? Now I'm going to add a flare at this point. Now if you can see uh, her side, she has like um, highlights there, which is showing that the sun is coming from this part. So I'm just going to add a little flare there. I'm just going to create a new layer. Come to my gradient tool. Yes, I'll use this right here. This last gradient right here. Change this to white. Create a new one. Something that shows that the sun is not setting at the same time, but still dense sky. I think this is fine. This is fine. Let me see what this will look like. So I'm just going to try to drag my gradient from here all the way down. Okay, that's a bit more. Okay, that's not bad. Let's see what it looks like. I changed my to screen. Wow, that looks good. That looks really, really good. I think I'll just do that again one more time. That looks really good. Change it to screen, and um, I'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just blur this out a bit. I'll just blur this out a bit. So that looks pretty good. Um, at this point. I'm going to create the image a little more and then I'll go to my color lookup at 3D lots and look for something that would look good on this image. So at this point, no, I don't like this. This looks good. This looks good. Then I'll reduce the opacity for this one. Okay, right about this point looks good. It looks okay. Create another levels adjustment layer. Oh, sorry, that was quite levels. Drag my blacks in a bit to add a little more pop to it. So at this point, I think we have an image that looks really good, really good. This, I'll show you all before and after at the end of the video. So this is basically what I do to get my image. Uh, my final image um, for my outdoor portraits this looks really good to me at this point um, normally I'll take my time I'll take a lot more time than this but this is me just showing you people the steps that I take to make the images look the way they look so thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video 
please hit the thumbs up button right below and um, subscribe to this channel i'll bring you guys a ton more videos as time goes on so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys later peace